All right, let's find the centroid of this <coughs> shaded area. Well, we know x bar is integral x tilde dA over integral dA. We know that y bar is integral y tilde dA over integral dA. So what is dA? What is x tilde? What is y tilde? All right, so my dA is a very, very thin vertical rectangle. That's how I like to do it. And there, you know, there are other ways to attempt these, other ways to try these. I'm not going to teach you, but you could think of these as very um, thin horizontal rectangles. And you could integrate d, dy instead of dx, how we're going to do it. Uh, but I like to stick with one way. Sometimes dy is actually e easier mathematically. But I think it's easier just to teach one way and let's stick with it. All right, dA has a base of dx, a height of top minus bottom. <clears throat> We're looking at the bottom is 0. The top is 1 minus 1 fourth x squared. So there's my dA. x tilde is x, the way that I'm going to be doing this. And y tilde would be the centroid, would be the average of top and bottom. Top, 1 minus 1 fourth x squared. So top plus, um, let's see, at bottom is zero, obviously, so this, yeah, sorry, divided by two would be my y tilde, be my y tilde. All right, so let's, let's plug these in, x tilde, x, x bar is the integral of x tilde, x times dA, which is 1 minus 1 fourth x squared dx over integral of 1 minus 1 fourth x squared dx. All right, so <clears throat> this is going to be x, and let's, let's do a little bit of this math, so bef actually... This is going to be x minus 1 fourth x cubed. So when I take the integral, x squared over 2, x to the fourth over 4, and this is just the numerator right here, and I'm going to evaluate this from negative 2 to positive 2. Right? I'm going to evaluate this from negative 2 to positive 2. I'm going to plug in 2 right here. I'm going to plug in negative 2 right here. And what happens, I've got the same value, right, 2 and negative 2. I'm squaring it, and I'm raising it to the fourth. We're going to have the, I don't know what number it is. We're going to have the same, same, same number right here. It's going to be 0. Did you already see that? Did you already know that the location of the x centroid of this is going to be zero because it is symmetric? It's going to be somewhere, right? Somewhere on this line of zero. If it's symmetric, then you know where the centroid is in one dimension. And I don't mind if you go ahead and tell me it's zero or tell me where it is without doing the math. You know, you could do the math, and the math would, would give you zero, but if it's symmetric, did you already know, did you think, why am, I, why am I going through this math to find x bar? I know the location of the centroid of this is, I don't know, maybe, maybe right here is, I know it's x is going to be zero because it's symmetric left and right. All right, so x bar is zero. I saw that from the figure because it was symmetric, but the math would also um, spit out zero for me if I did all the math. All right, let me do y bar. Now, how about y bar? Do you think my y bar is going to be zero? No. Let's see if mathematically, it, it, you know, if it comes out to zero or not. All right, y bar is y tilde dA. Y tilde is 1 minus 1 fourth x squared. dA is 1 minus 1 fourth x squared. Okay, okay. All right, that's fine. Integral 1 minus 1 fourth x squared dx. Uh, let me go ahead and multiply this. Through. Let me foil this, right? First, outside, inside, last. Uh, so I haven't done the integral yet, but that 
Oh, sorry. Da, 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 da. There was a two here. Wasn't there a two here? Yeah. Divided by two. All right. So multiply that through. I've got one half. Multiply outside and inside. Both of them are x squareds. Minus one fourth x squared. Multiply the last ones. One thirty second. One thirty second x to the fourth. All right, and this is still integral of one minus one fourth x squared. And I'm integrating it. D. Sometimes I leave off that dx. Just I kind of forget about it. That that reminds me and tells me, you know, what direction I'm, I'm integrating. I'm integrating it with respect to x. Um, I think I already knew that. So this would be one half x, one fourth x cubed over three, one thirty second x to the fifth over five. And so now when I'm plugging in negative 2 and positive 2, uh, I, I get different values, right? I get opposite values, and so they don't subtract to 0. Same thing down here. This is going to be x minus 1 fourth, let's see, x cubed over 3. And when I plug in negative 2 and positive 2, right? Plug in negative 2, sorry, positive 2 right here, minus plugging in negative 2 right here, and I'll get a number, right? I will get a number, right? Plug in 2, 2, 2, and then minus, so I got some value, minus what happens when I plug in negative 2, negative 2, negative 2. I actually get the same, but it's negative, and so I'm adding these two values. Sorry, I don't have these with me. See if you can do that and get... Two fifths, let's see, two fifth meters right here. So my x bar, y bar is zero comma two fifths. You can put the meters in here or out. I don't care where you put them as long as you put them somewhere. All right. Okay, so we can do this for, for any. You know, any centroid, if I know or if I can get the function of these lines that are bounding my shaded area, then I can calculate the centroid. And I think the hardest, I mean, the, the math, some of the math is hard, but the hardest part is getting this dA, getting this x tilde, getting this y tilde. All right, I'm not going to do this next problem, uh, but let's just set it up real quickly and double check me if I'm wrong. I don't have this um, worked out. But let's see, what would x tilde be? What would y tilde be? What would dA be? Let's start with, well, x tilde is, is just x. Let's start with dA. dA is base times height. Height is top minus bottom. All right, so there's dx. And y tilde would be the centroid. It would be the average of top and bottom. x, x to the two-thirds x to the 3 halves divided by 2. And so there, there's, there's my x tilde, my y tilde, and my dA. So you can try uh, to do that one right there. Now, this previous one, I think it was actually on our formula sheet and, and the one before that. Um, so if we, we have the centroid moment of inertia formula sheet, um, yeah, yeah, right there. The centroid was two-fifths of A. Our A was one. That's why our centroid was two-fifths. Now, you have to turn your head 90 degrees, you know, and but that that's where all these values come from, right? Uh, so, you know, if we have a shape, then, then we could come to this centroid, you know, formula sheet and just read it off here. But the, the, our process works, right? Our process works. Integral x tilde dA over integral dA. This one, I think, was the, the problem before. It was three-fifths of, sorry, three-tenths of the height and four-thirds of the base. That was the problem beforehand. But I wanted us to, um, you know, go through, yeah, I think this six, check me if I'm six in the, 2.8 would would have been possibly hopefully three tenths the um, mm, yeah
Yeah. Uh, all right. But anyway, our process works. Here's our process. Use this process. Um, anytime you have a function that you're trying to find the center of the area between two functions. But the more common the shapes get, then the more we can use that, um, that formula sheet. And our next topic will be, you know, what if it is just composed of, of simple shapes from that formula sheet? How can we find the centroid? So that's, that's our next topic we'll move on to.